lunch break. Me and Dino Mindset got it from the mud, yeah. I was digging blood out. I was digging blood in. Y'all been catching me back when them drugs hit. We was in the cut. This pain called this fucking rabbit. Get your cousin. Now they know they be you. The one that might know nothing. Like really we live, baby. Like Episode two. Up in life. Lunch break. Talk to him, life. If I die, I pray that somebody remember. I told my mom don't cry, cause you know your son is in Oh, how you my guy? 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 Oh, Yes, we're gonna cut it right there. Shout out to Light. Shout out to Lights. Lights Lights been Uptown. A, been a been a heavy hitter when it when it comes to those records. You know what I'm saying? And he be in those rooms, man. I'm waiting on you lights. I'm waiting to see you, you know what I'm saying? Shine on them, baby. Something bright with them lights. What's up, y'all? We back. Yeah, you know, episode two. It's your boy Smooth. It's your man Shop. It's your boy Spade TV. What's going on? And we right back at this lunch break. You know what I mean? Today we're gonna, you know. We got we got a good deep topic for y'all today. Good one. You know what I'm saying? For now we gonna how was y'all week? We gonna, you know, do a recap real quick. How was y'all week, fellas? Just grinding. Just grinding. Yeah, heavy shining. Grinding. Yeah, just grinding. Been everywhere. Put your head down and move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been been a busy week. I've been at it every day, but you know, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get in that process, man. They say success is about being uncomfortable, getting in that place where you you're doing so much that you you can't sit still that you can't even get comfortable. Yeah. So I'm trying to get, they say get used to being yeah, uncomfortable. uncomfortable yeah. You know what I mean? So Definitely. that's 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 the mind state I'm at. I'm trying to do something every day. Yeah. Be busy every day. You know and it's like, I mean, <clears throat> you working, you working, you working. That's what it's about. Like we, right. I don't stop working. There's no stop. Just keep working, keep working. Keep moving. <laughs> One thing to the next. Stay, stay at the hustle. You know what I mean? How y'all feel about James Harden in the city? Oh, man. Oh, that's a good situation. Good job. Yeah. Make you want to sure. watch the Sixers again? Definitely. I've been watching them. <laughs> no, nah, Harden right, gonna bring them people out. <laughs> see, going to the games, but on television, the lady gotta go. Like she's nothing like the boy Mark Zumoff. What lady? She be broad. She be uh, oh, the boy yeah, yeah, she gotta go. She gotta okay. go. Okay, she gotta go. She ain't bringing it. No, nah. they gonna revamp everything around him though. Soon, you know that's what they do. Yeah, mm-hmm. when they bring in a superstar now. Contracts gonna start looking different. They gotta have different type of entertainment. Prices gonna be different. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> they already no went up. No for you next yeah. time. They <laughs> already went up. He ain't even hit the field. No more for you. They, they going up. No more taking pictures at the joint. I know they say, uh, what is it, the tenth? That's when Ben come back. So that's probably a game everybody gonna be at. Mm. Hey, they bringing them. They bringing cars out. Mm. The jewelry, everything for that. Philly gonna be the tenth. What we we playing against? March tenth. No, yeah, so he gonna be he gonna oh, be back man. at the uh, Wells Fargo. They gonna be on his ass. Yeah. He, gonna, he thought they was hard on him at first. Yeah, they about to he definitely gonna ass. get booed he every gonna, time he, he just the ball. But vice versa, with unless the whole he ball super situation. hard or something. Huh? With the whole Ben Simmons situation, did he, uh, what you mean? Like Dan Simmons go to the Nets? No, yeah. So the Nets come so, back here. So yeah, but uh, we played him on the tenth. No, but I'm saying the same thing with Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons left the Sixers and went. Right to the Nets, so, so I'm saying it's doing? gonna be crazy. Like, what you mean? You talking about they gonna? I'm be saying they're gonna boo. No, they gonna boo Ben Simmons. Like he's oh, they're gonna boo. I thought right. you were saying they're gonna be on James Harden ass. Like no, the Nets no, no, no. no. I'm, oh, saying, right, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying like, saying no, yeah. Ben Simmons yeah. had an issue with the fact that Philly fans is too hard. Like you know, that was part of his old. Chew his ass. He's not mentally ready to play basketball. They gonna go hard. They gonna be you fucking nut. They're going to draw for sure, yeah. but I feel like you got something. Couple to prove. I wouldn't be surprised somebody tossed a bottle of water at him. Bro, just toss a bottle of water. I see. Snowball Right in the fucking head <laughs> The kids <laughs> Out of pocket That nigga nah, run run around, around. Bro. That nigga come score 30 They go to treat him. No, he that's not gonna thing. score 30 That's the thing He gonna hit the ball He He's gonna have to do ball, something bro. But He don't Like bro That's don't so know. disrespectful Philly gonna shut his ass down If he no, come here and cry right Nigga something wrong Yeah no Philly gonna shut his ass down But um Another thing too So um One of the little short topics I wanted to talk about The baby Baby's mother Danny Lee mm-hmm. Her brother Oh, at the uh, bowling alley? At the bowling alley, the baby and them fucked him up. He told the baby, bong is on site. So See, I didn't the know the backstory. Him, That's what happened? Up. Yeah, because yeah. it was a whole thing where like, the, the baby mom was going crazy online, like hunting the baby, and, and you know he pretty much was putting it on live and shit. So 
you know, it was like I guess it was some animosity. But the baby them. is known for like on site fucking niggas fucking up. Niggas yeah, up. Yeah, so yeah. like yeah. So you don't tell a nigga that you know yeah. be on site that is on site. And, <laughs> and and not only that, but he has to travel with entourage. So he got people with him. He just That's can't travel by yeah. himself yeah. anyway. Yeah. So. so I don't know why he's trying to plead the fifth after this shit happened. Talking about some old. Yo, yeah, bro, I, I, yeah, oh, like, just, I just want to talk to you. Like, bro, if you was talking crazy on site shit, then it's on site. Yeah, that's the thing. If you say it's on site, especially to a nigga that's known to do it on site. And that's what Meek said in his comments. Yeah, if you say on site. He's like, yeah, on site is oh, on yeah. site. He did. Yeah. Right, he wrote that shit in his comments. I that, can take that, that personal. Day. I felt like if you yeah, see you me. say it's on site, it's on I site. I had to swing first because hey. I didn't want you to get the upper hand. Well, that was like Meek and um, was uh, Nicki Minaj uh, Safari. When they seen him out, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was like, like he was with his entourage, he was running around all on TMZ, yeah, yeah. playing tag with TV and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be yeah, out so. here talking about his on site if it's not on site, bro. Yeah. Cause niggas but ain't playing Instagram, even, all that shit. Like it's gonna get real. Than that, though, my thing is right. It's rules and regulations. I always say that you don't get in your sister's baby daddy baby mama oh, yeah, drama, you leave bro. Her alone. Because this the thing, right? Even though the baby fucked her, her brother up. You don't think she gonna fuck with that nigga if he if he wanna fuck with her? Y'all got, oh, yeah. got baby together. Now yeah. y'all stuck with each other. Yeah. And, and that was what? her. She was what playing you gonna that? need the family reunion. That's what she was playing. She's like, we got a kid to raise. Like, that was her whole At thing. the baby birthday you party. Know, she oh, knows she wants to That's what she said. She came out and said that? She was saying, like, we got a kid to raise, so she I don't want this stupid. nonsense. She not stupid. Yeah, she, yeah like, that's where the bag at. The baby's birthday party. Like, now what? Now y'all got shit. Exactly. It's nutty now. Exactly. You, that's why you just stay out, bro. Like, you should have just told her, like, yo, chill. I'm not, like, that's between involved. you and me, man. Like, y'all need to chill. Yeah. Don't get in the baby mama just don't drama. Get physical. Yeah. Do I, not get in the drama. Like, I didn't know too much about the story, but yeah, that sound about right, though. That's just that's, rules, though. It's just like hood yeah, rules. If yeah. your sister got a nigga that you know that she always on and off with, ain't gonna go back to. Unless he go too crazy, leave, leave that it, shit stay up. Out of yeah, it. like, unless you you putting hands and feet, then it's an issue. Yeah. But all that extra shit, I'm not getting in between the. But like you said, um, so apparently it's supposed to be some uh, legal actions being taken. Yeah, now. he 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 trying to sue now. Yeah, and then that's, that's another thing for me, right? You online talking all that gangster shit. Now you want to sue because you got your ass beat. Yeah, I, that's, street cred is just like it's a thing of the past. Niggas don't care no more. Like they trying to get, their get money. the bag. Yeah. Just get yeah, the bro. bag. All right, he swung on me. Yeah. Let me get a check for this. Just shit. Get, get the, the bag. bag. Hey, don't rap. Stop putting your hands on nigga, people, that man. That nigga, the baby, no, like just rappers is athletes too, bro. That nigga, anybody in the that's limelight. A walking check. Anybody in the limelight is it? Yeah, but bro, that nigga, bro, they said two hundred thousand punch on your face. Like, nah, bro, I'm not doing it. Like, I'm not about to punch on you and get charged two hundred thousand. The baby is undefeated in court. Like every time he punch on a nigga, they try to sue. He. He beat him. Be yeah, them they be, yeah. yeah. Oh, he talked be, up. Be every one of them. Now, do he, he beat him? Or I think he called his lawyer first. <laughs> but do he beat he be like, him? Yo, he beat him again. I'm gonna have to fuck him up. Do he it. said <laughs> it's on <laughs> site, but, but I got permission. But, but no, do he beat him, or is it like a settlement out of court? So I mean, far as you know, he be posting the pictures like another, you know, another case spank. So I'm gonna assume that he be beating him. I don't think he be settling. Uh, I don't take him for the nigga like to cut the check and just keep it peaceful type John. He gonna take it to court. Uh, you had to beat me the fair way, like because I mean a lot of people do settle. So. Yeah, a lot of people don't feel like the headache, and, right? You know what right. I mean? So sometimes he feel like even if it's twenty five thousand, you might just be like, all right. He got a lawyer. He got yeah, a my lawyer handle it. It's cool, hand, right? Yeah. I'm coming to court one time about this shit. Yeah, to get it thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't about to go sit for this shit. Yeah, it's I mean, a, I got a trip to be. And it on. all be about money though. That's the crazy. Everything part. be about money, bro. Mm-hmm. Everything is about a daughter. They don't even care about your feelings. Not at all. That shit go straight to the money. Okay, so restitution ret- yeah. <laughs> fees for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, sir, you you don't even have a job. <laughs> you didn't lose any compensation at all. Like, at all. What it's are crazy. you suing about? Niggas just think it just worked like that. But on to the next thing. On to the next thing. We wanted to talk about. Growing up black and the influence of social media. Mm. Now, I feel like this is a deep topic because it's like, it's layers to it. It goes so many ways. Because you got the influence of social media when it comes to like violence and shit. Then you got the influence of social media also when it comes to inspiration. It's like it goes two ways. Yeah. It, it got its pros and its cons. So mm-hmm. its cons is that some people look at all the gangster shit niggas be doing online and they want to be gangsters. They be living in the suburbs, but... Making trap music Yeah that's true Yeah A lot of these trap stars And all that shit They be growing up in uh, Cul-de-sacs Yeah Cul-de-sac babies It's you know so funny it's, that you said that really though It's Because I was watching some shit On Instagram It was a uh, V-Lab Vlad mm-hmm. TV And he had um Some young boy in there 
And the shit he was saying and how he was saying it and it's just how he was talking, bro, that shit just didn't relate to me. I'm like, bro, who the fuck? You just like, could tell. I could just tell, like, bro, you ain't never all. even been bro, in no shit. Been yeah. in no goof, nothing. And, and all the shit he was saying just sound. Music. And he was a rapper. Yeah. What, what, what's what's bro? I gotta get. I would have to get his name. All I yeah. know is he linked with Tyler, the creator. Like they, yeah, know, see, somewhere yeah. in that field. I'm and like, Tyler bro. don't care. He, he, as long as you creative, he gonna fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. I but, was like, bro, that's yeah. A lot, of, a lot of these rappers be like that now. Like they just, they take it. They, you at home all day. You in the basement. But I feel like that's all they know. Yeah, because they watch it though. Not that they live it. Not it's that they live they it, but that's, it, right. they it's, watch it's, it, and that's all you know. So, so now then, you, when you go on to the screen or whatever, like this is what you're gonna portray. Yeah, you're gonna do that. Saying. But honestly, bro, you don't even know the fucking. Yeah, you don't know nothing about <laughs> it. You, that's just you just living through the screen. Now but we then, talk. We talk about the rappers. Yeah, or, when I, it come to just rappers, and also I think some of the kids be thinking they thugs too. Period. Like even if they don't rap, just by looking at other gangsters and listening to that shit, they be thinking they they trapped out. That's yeah. why they out here like that and white boy crazy, who was like, yeah. I I got time today, bro. I got time yeah, today. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? You know those type niggas like. No, but. <laughs> but, but. You got but, that shit from a movie. I mean, no, but like. Watching for that, too much time. <laughs> for, for, for that scenario, like, for one, I mean, you do come across uh, white little boys that be really not too far from being from the hood. So they do be around that type of environment. Um, some. I can't right. see all of them, but the some black of them. ones in the suburbs. Like too. for him, yeah, I no, think the, I think that little white. I think it was part of like a little gang. Like they, he came through one time. He must have got over, and he he came back. He must have had his weedies or something that day. Yeah, and he, he was around some of his homies. So you, I got time today. That's yeah, still a classic. Really, that's he, still he, classic. He still oh, I fuck wasn't with really it. Out of the yeah, I fuck like with that. it. Like, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. Like gang banging in yeah. Wisconsin. He was stepping in his own zone. Yeah, we got his own zone. He was a big step We need the location of that joint because it's like. If it's like I got somewhere, time today, bro. yeah, right. If it's somewhere out Wisconsin, and I don't know where they not getting busy. Yet. Yeah, right, 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 right. And then the pros about um, social media influence is that, like, I was just thinking about how when we were growing up, like the things we were exposed to, and I think that's part of the reason why we got this big boom of entrepreneurs. Right, everybody who about thirty plus. Is in this zone where you you getting LLCs, you owning businesses, you trying to figure out what you you know what area you want to go into. Mm-hmm. But you thirty plus, they act like you were supposed to figure this shit out when you was a dub. Right. But when we were younger, we didn't see none of this shit. We didn't see nobody investing in stock mm-hmm. to know that you know I should yeah. be studying the stock market. I'm figuring all this shit out right, now. Right. Like right. now I want to study real estate. Now I want to study this and study that. Because now you got this this phone in your hand, and it's showing you all it's the different ways access. people can make money. Mm-hmm. But back then we didn't have that. Like you know what I mean? Denied. Our fucking camera phones came out when we was in yeah. high school. Like yeah. before that, you wasn't even sending pictures. Like so, you only seen what was around you, and what was around you. You had TV, TV. You had niggas playing ball. Mm-hmm. They was making money. So you see them on MTV Cribs. Mm-hmm. So that was like, damn, I want a crib like that. So yeah, I need to either that was rap the motivation. or play ball. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you see it in the video, you like, I gotta get that shit that he got. But that was the only way you seen it. They with didn't the show lawyers show, um, and shit. Where they uh, customized the whips. What was that joint called? West Pimp Coast Customs. Ride. Yeah, the cu- Pimp My Ride joint. Oh, Pimp My, <laughs> Pimp my, my Ride, ride joint. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, that Pimp My Ride was at West Coast Customs. They was the same Yeah, right, shit. right, yeah. right, right, right. So what's homie name? Um Exhibit. 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 Yeah, exhibit. Was on there, yeah. Exhibit. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So it was that like, was, that, that was the that only was the shit, shit you've seen. But they had, they ain't even had somebody come through like, yeah, I, I uh, trade uh, on Wall Street and pip right, right, his right, ride right, and shit. Right. Like, but I feel rappers. like it, it connects to us differently now with social media. So now you're able to see the glitz and the glamour, mix that in with, oh, what do this person do? Make you start asking right. questions. And then you get involved into it. If somebody was to just jump on your screen back then, you wouldn't have understood it. You wouldn't have taken it in how you're taking it in now because now you understand it. Like, damn, I could get the same amount of money right. as this ball player, as this football player. Doing you know other things. Saying? Doing other things. Because that's the thing. So all we you had this, this picture of wealth. So you would see fly cars. And everything and that land under that would be the wealth. sports. The, right. Who yeah. who was the ones that they were showing us getting wealth? Was the sports players right. and the rappers. Right. So that's the lanes you was you was driving for. Right. got to be one of these things. I, of course, it was like you first always was – 
I want to be a doctor or a lawyer or right. astronaut. I was about to say, like I, I would add that in there. I add the doctors, the lawyers, the astronauts, but it was always so far-fetched. It was something that people just spoke about. Just spoke about. But you never knew you, what doctor yeah. you knew had the Lamborghini. Yeah, had to right, be somewhere. Right, right, yeah, right, what definitely. lawyer you seen had the Lamborghini. I mean, because. You only knew it, Johnny be, Cochran. Be, because, like you said, at the end of the day. He wasn't driving a Lamborghini. But, <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, like you said. He's in a Buick Let's see. We, we didn't really have access to those type of people unless they were on television. Like, dude. We from the hood, so we didn't see doctors come through yeah. parking their Benzes on the on, right. on the block. And even in the if hood. we did, by. I don't feel like they was moving to the point where you would notice it. And then yeah, you probably wouldn't. Notice. You wouldn't even peep what he did. Yeah, so let's say a lawyer pulled up right. and he had to ask the Martin. You wouldn't right. know he a lawyer, right? You fuck around, right. think he played ball and sell drugs just because that's all you know. You associate wealth with. Yeah. You don't know all these different ways that people make money. And and, and, and for one, I mean, for a while, like where I came from, like. You wasn't even considered cool if you probably wasn't selling drugs or or looking like you that had too. some money for real, for real. That so too. the fact that you could do all that without selling drugs, you could attain all these things and seeing it with people being able to get it, that right. makes it much better with the social media. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So so now you got this thing, like now we all, we seeing it. So now it's changing. Right. All the, everybody who was trying to rap. Yeah. 2000. Here's the problem, though. 12 and shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Niggas is trying problem. to flip they cribs. Changed, they changed, they, they changed Bitcoin. Mindset, you right? never had so many niggas but playing the stock market and doing foreign exchange. But here's the problem, mm-hmm. though. We're still behind. Like, yeah, and I mean, but we that's the thing. We, like we, 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 we still, we still catching, catching up. up. Like, yeah, we still want to catch up. Catching and, up. And that's yeah. the sad part about it. That's how I look at it. Like, when I'm coming through University City, I see all these little rich kids and shit. I'll be like, bro. They know about all this shit. They been knew about it. They parents right. been instilling it into them the whole nine. So, but the thing is, you know that the it's it's a little fast though. I think it's a lot of niggas out making money, mm-hmm. YouTubers and all that. Mm-hmm. Some of them YouTubers do other things that you know they do the stock shit, they do real estate shit. That's how they they Instagrams and shit boom. Yeah, because they doing other things or they do fashion. This new world for and us. they making money off this off shit. Of it, yeah. yeah, so it's yeah. a lot of people. You can catch up for sure. It's a lot of In young year. ass millionaires. But you know the crazy part about it, y'all watch. Well, of course, the Super Bowl was last week, but y'all seen the LeBron commercial where it be like it be the LeBron today, and you see the young boy LeBron. I seen y'all the picture. See I didn't see the commercial. So basically, I didn't he, even watch the. Super he was Bowl. basically uh, the younger LeBron was talking to the older LeBron, like I did as that. if like damn. I did. I didn't know all this shit was going to happen. Basically, the old LeBron was saying, yeah, you better jump on this. Like, you, the things you might not expect to happen is going to happen. So, it was a crypto commercial. Basically right. saying, y'all better jump on it now. And you'd be looking back like, damn, I wish I, I had made that move. Like, he went right. he went straight to the lead, basically. Mm-hmm. So, that was the whole commercial was crazy, though. But it was a concept to it, though. You got to check it out. It was deeper yeah. than yeah, the yeah, surface. Was, yeah. The whole thing is jumping on that shit Yeah, now, jumping on it, you yeah. you never know where it's going yeah, to be yeah. at later. But yeah. that's the whole twist, though. It's like, without social media, like, it... It opened up your mind. Like now you yeah, got so yeah. many options. It's and it's crazy though. It's so many options. It makes this shit a little bit hard. You be like, man, I could do a lot of different things. It Especially if you good at whatever you put your hand on. You be like, man, I could do this and make money. I could do that. Become rich. I got shit. Not like, even which that, one I man. Yo, do. literally, you could educate yourself on YouTube, bro. Right. And, and YouTube, and YouTube is makes shit so much. YouTube easier. went from are right, we just putting our raps up on there to. Everything is on YouTube, man. man I'll Everything be is on YouTube. Learning how to fix cars right on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, real shit. Like, you ain't real gotta shit. go to class. Real Log shit. on your YouTube, find a good channel, and just dig in. You want you want to buy something? All right, I'm gonna look at the views. No, I'm gonna go to YouTube. Somebody must have uploaded a video of it. I check yeah. all that shit out. Mm-hmm. That's and that's crazy. that's that's the part of it, man. It's like it be so many like stereotypes. Like when you hear them, and then you wonder like where they come from or why people just think that that's just the normal. Like oh, you either get Play ball and all that shit. Like, that's the reason why. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. that was the only things we seen. And now the crazy part about it is you don't really see too many young boys playing ball no more. That right. shit is out. That They don't care yeah, to they play don't, ball. They don't care to play no ball. More. They want to play on that phone. And like you said, they invested in what's going on on this phone, bro. Mm-hmm. They not even playing ball no more, man. You got young boys building apps, young ages. Yeah. So what about like, all right, so you got like places like China. That's putting like restrictions on how long you're able to be on like social media sites. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah, bro. They China, got, China. They trying to though. alter like how that shit runs. Yeah, China and is all different. They China shit is like man. They do credit as a person. Mm. Like if they catch you littering, you lose points as a person. Like you yeah. can get denied like that for like loans shit and I was shit. Talking about. But that's really what they, they really do. moving like that. Like they got so many cameras that really, if you do certain shit, buy certain shit, like they profile you as a person pretty much like yeah. they got it in the whole system 
Yeah, you fuck around and get you won't get a loan for a crib out China. Yeah, I never if knew you that. That's if you a bad person, like yeah. If you a bad that's Yeah, crazy. you running lights and shit, we don't fuck with you, bro. Like that's how China is. Like, nah. They so cool. advanced though. They fuck around, come to your crib. That's crazy. Just to be that tapped in. And they got I way mean, more people like, than us. They got so, I was about to say, they got so many shit. people. They could do shit like that. I'm going to get real. I mean, that's the, they trying you, to eliminate. You would think that it'd be hard. Yeah, yeah you would think so it'd be people. hard. No, nah, because they it. trying to eliminate people from it, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, yeah, you disqualified. So disqualify. they got to tap yeah, into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You done. <laughs> bro, they just want to control everything, but at the same time, be at the top of the market. So I think that's why they try to limit people being on social media and stuff like that. So that you... So what's the... You staying on books. Like, they go to school year round. They already put, like, a number on them. The amount of kids they can have too, right? Yeah, something like you're not allowed to have two kids or something That's like that. crazy. So what I'm getting from this conversation is that the, the pros of social media is the fact that we able to connect and learn and pick up on new things that we didn't always have the access to. Right. It, versus it, it, what it would be the, the cons. Scope of ways to make Because I feel the same way. I feel like, you know, it opened up some doors. Yeah. And it gave people opportunities to really, truly... Um, bank shine. off of yeah, yeah, shine and bank off of social media. Like people yeah. was able to build their platforms up, build a name for themselves, right? Build a name for their companies and their businesses off of there, and be able to make some real money I'm, to I'm, change their lives, right? But one of the the cons is that um, yeah, I wonder what the cons is. So I think like most people, they not patient with the process. Like you might be a person, you got the stuff that you got going for you, but mm-hmm. that took some time. It took some time for you to probably to get your credit to build everything up. A person might look at you like, damn, he got that, and you think it's supposed to happen overnight. Like, damn, yeah. no, you got that, that is a thing, too. You got to put the work but in. Do you like, think that, like, people, like, mental health is being affected by oh, definitely. social media? Yeah, definitely. I think, and just I think seeing all this and always feeling like... Anxiety I'm, I'm is something that people... Missing out. People bring up so much now. Like, back in the day, you never heard of nobody talking about fucking anxiety. Like, you know what I mean? You wasn't even stressing about a lot of shit. Like, mm-hmm. even if you was broke, you go outside, you play, you ride your young boy bike. Like... You ain't have to have everything. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, it's so much in your face. Yeah. You feel like if you ain't up there doing with 90% of what you see on your screen, that you down and yeah. you down bad. And that's sometimes what, yeah. you might even be all right. Right, right, right. But right. you feeling down bad because right. everything you follow, everything you look at, then got Lambo. He got five Lambo. He got right, the truck, right, the right, Venador, right. the Horicon. Damn, right. I can't even get the bent. Like, I right, can't get right. none of this shit yet. So it's crazy we talking about this because I had, um I was listening to an old J. Cole joint from back in 2014, Love Yours. Mm-hmm. And he basically was just telling yeah, you. Yeah, like, like he was speaking on everything all that around shit. you, like, you know, yeah, with glitters bro. and gold. But that song, like, stuff like that will sit with you and be like, you know, it resonates with you, you to, and help to, you to understand, yeah. like, bro, you can't get caught up in this Instagram shit. You can't and that's the thing like that. that you gotta, you gotta kind of step you. back from Instagram and realize, and realize that it, yeah. it's like this, this, um, it's just like, you know, how they be using all the different audios when they do the reels. Mm-hmm. It's this audio going around where they, you know, the lady paid Picasso. The right on the napkin. She was like, draw me a picture. He drew a picture. It took him five minutes or whatever. She was like, he asked her for this astronomical number to pay for the picture. Mm-hmm. And she's like, that's outrageous. Why would you charge somebody something that only took you five minutes? He like, shorty, this took me 40 years to learn how to do it in five minutes. All right. So right. it'd be like, you got to think of how long sometimes it took people to master their craft to get to, to be that To be able point. to get to that level. Right. So when you learn, like, damn, you know what? I just got to stick in. I got something good, but I just got to stick in. Because mm-hmm. that shit happened to me a lot of times. Yeah. I'm always thinking, like, by this third episode, we need to be popular. Right. And, <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and the, This and shit the, need to be viral. And it's, it don't happen It's like crazy that. because that happens a lot, too. Even when, I, like when I'm like when i doing, sometimes when I'm doing events or going to new spots, and I'm like, yo, I got to build this. I can't just go in. And I can't just, even when I'm promoting, oh, I'm going to post it. I expect people to come. No, I got to build it, build it, build it. And then it's just generating the people itself. You dig what I'm saying? Right. Some people don't you understand that. Work that. In. Mm-hmm. You got to put that work in. I posted that earlier. I'm like, don't forget about them 10,000 steps to take to be great. Yeah, it do. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Like, it really take that. No, I mean, for Motherfuckers real. really understand that shit. That's why I don't be tripping about nothing if, if it don't happen automatically. Because I know that, yo, it's a lot of time being spent. And if and any time you ever look at anybody's, you know, biography or they, they artwork or whatever they done, you be like, damn, yeah, that shit did take you some time. And, right. and you been grinding since this. Like I told you, check out the Kanye West joint on Netflix. Yeah, that shit is dope to me because now you get to see it from the very beginning to see how passionate the man yeah, was, right. and see how he is carrying it back when people didn't really truly believe in him to be no more than the producer. Yeah, and the crazy part, you think about how long Kanye was in the game. He just became a billionaire. 
Which most I think I signed in two thousand two to rock but, to uh, Rockefeller in two thousand two. It's in fucking that's twenty, that's 20 years, years ago. Years ago. Yeah. And you talking about right. grinding ten years before that, he was already producing beats and becoming the the, the, the top man in his craft. And you got so many people that think they're going to jump in the field and, and do it automatically. But not only that, like even when you look at rappers like Rick Ross, Two Chains, and all of them, when they but was at the top of shit. their careers, they was like 36, 37, approaching they be older. forty years old. Right. Bro. And that's oh, so that's another thing too. Like with us. We always put these times uh-huh. and numbers on everything. Like as if figuring out what you want to do when you're 35 is a problem. Yeah, or 40. Like right, if, let's right. say you. Or 50. You, let's say all right, I'm 32. Let's say I don't start my, my business that generates my millions until I'm 35. Right. Like, you get what I'm saying? Right. They say that most millionaires don't become millionaires till they like 45, 50. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me I got a dub still to, to work. get to where. Yeah. The, the general population of millionaires become millionaires. But really like you said, we got to get it by 30. But like you said, when you wake up on that Instagram, you're mm-hmm. thinking like, damn, I ain't where I need to be. But the real, I mean, reality is, bro, you might be in a better situation than a lot of people, bro. Like, bro, it's crazy. The other thing about it, too, is that when you pitting in that work and you see a person like you that's very successful, they don't understand, like, that shit could be draining, bro. Because yeah. at times, I'm going to keep it real true. I woke up Monday, I was drained. Like, yo. I gotta get myself together. Just the the energy that I gotta put out again. Mm-hmm. You you need that drive for for I get drained sometimes, bro. Bro, yeah, everybody been, not all the time, but I get no, drained. Everybody sometimes. do. It's gonna come I've to a time. I've been locked in on the Kanye. I think he produced it, the Sunday Choir John, mm. the Gospel Jones, the mm. album on there, bro. That should be keeping me moving, bro. No lie, I can't need listen to rap man. music no more because yeah. it'd be like I need the I need the energy, I need good vibes because I yeah. gotta stay rolling. And then sometimes that, that shit be that should be draining me. Like listening to that hardcore trap yeah. shit. Yeah, not at that seven or eight in the morning, down, bro. So seven eight in the morning, I'm not listening to no gangster rap shit. Yeah, that it, shit. I'm on like more calmer vibes, more chill bro. shit. Tap, tap into me? the tap into the gospel, bro. I'm I'll, trying to tell you. I don't have no never, issue with that. No, but I'm saying you like, see what Kirk you Franklin would be, and uh and, and Lil Kanye Baby came up with that shit was though. different. I ain't hear that, but Kanye John he. Hey, bro. They here's got the thing. So they put the, the they put so the it's like Franklin a real John. it's like a real uh, it's a full gospel album, but they do like the rain the um remix or something. I think they played it when Drake and Kanye did that. That concert together, mm-hmm. remember he had that choir. Yeah, some of them songs that they sung at the beginning is on this album. That shit got energy, and he, energy. And, oh, so it's an album. Yeah, it's a oh, whole right, album. Because right, right, right. I know you do crazy. the Sunday shit. So I do you just saying. It's like that. All those songs that they was doing and all. You talking that. about before Donda? The Sunday Choir. Yeah. The Blue Drum. Yeah. Yeah, I've listened to that whole bro, thing, bro. I'm already tapping. Yeah. All like, right, good, that's, good that's money. That's what keep me yeah. floating. But like, that's a good drum. You be needing that. That's a good drum for sure. You gotta come back to that shit around. Cause sometimes, bro, this shit really be draining. Bro. On the like, ride home from lunch break, I'm tuning in. Yeah, bro, you gonna get home. That shit have you in a good mood. Cause yeah, the Instagram shit do be killing you, bro. It's like too much sometimes. Yeah, it's like you got so many responsibilities when it come to this shit. Like you just gotta maintain yourself a certain way. You feel like you supposed to get it a certain way. It's hard. It's hard, and I'm like, man, niggas be looking at me thinking shit easy. Bro, yeah. this shit. And I deep. feel like everybody's situation be a unique situation. It's mm-hmm. One of one. All of them. So you can't be comparing yourself to And at the same any time, shit. everybody thing kind of be the same. Like they be in the same fields? No, like But you don't know like how we, they got we, into we it. We all you don't go know. through the same shit. Oh, yeah. So were it's you just thinking different. that you're that you going through certain shit that just like... Just you going through it, everything somebody so else. just yeah. hard for you. Like, no. It's, just, it's, that, it's hard yeah, for you somebody know what else is? in a different position. I said this before. I was like, I was talking to somebody and I was like, at the end of the day, Everybody pain is different, right? Your pain but might bring you pain. It might not bring the same pain to me. But our our pain could be different. For an example, I was talking to somebody and um they had lost a relative. Mm-hmm. And and I was like, you, you even though you lost that relative, it's people that never really had that same figure of a relative in their life. Right. So they've been fighting trauma for years that like, damn, I never even had this type of Relationship with somebody, mm-hmm. and, a, and you was blessed with it. You know what I mean. And but my pain been existing right. for years. Yours, you just lost. But for years, I might have wanted that relationship. So our pain is different. You know what I mean. It come in different ways for for. And that's another thing too. Like when it come up to just about growing up black, just the the things that society really be feeling like don't be that deep that really do affect us, bro. I, I still, I really feel like I get PTSD when cops pull up behind me. Yeah. Like, no lie. I feel like they need to make laws about the way cops drive in traffic. 
This cop had the lights on at the top, and he's swinging through. He ain't even had the red and blues, though. He just had the white lights. I feel like he's coming for me. Just out of, I ain't did shit wrong, but it's just that's how you feel when you black and you're yo, driving yeah, and yo, the cop dog, behind listen. you. I don't fuck where he at behind I just, you. Last I think he's coming for me. Last week, I just, <laughs> yo, last, week, me. last week, I just, yo, I'm literally, that's I seen the cop had somebody pulled over, yeah. and I'm driving him on the phone, and I'm like, yo, this cop behind me, man. My my whole my whole mindset was like I'm about to get pulled over. Yeah. Like they ain't about to pull me over. You follow me for a block, a couple blocks. You looking in your rear, uh, your mirror. You like damn, I think he running my shit. He about to pull me over. Luckily he didn't. But like you said, that's the mindset. But so you know why? Exactly. That's the mindset. It's the mindset because that's what's been happening. Right. I've been pulled over multiple times. Yeah, to the point nothing. that now, yeah, for nothing. So now, now every time you get behind me, I think you. I'm already on some paranoia. So, shit. but yeah. you know that's why they passed the uh, uh, stop I think, pulling over yeah, nigga yeah, shit yeah, because yeah. because um, they, I think they they said it's actually uh, they discriminating for real. Yeah, and that was the case though. For that, was they, they that, was that was what they. That was the everything. And every that's time you head to a cop, you be like, yo, y'all just doing this for y'all quotas. They act like they ain't got no quotas. Oh, so y'all don't y'all don't have to pull over niggas. Then why are you pulling niggas over then? And then acting scared. Don't pull me over if you're scared, bro. Yeah. Just go on about your day. I'm going to go on right, about mine. Right, right, like, right. Leave me the fuck alone. So they be like, you, you, I pulled you over because you, you got 10 on your car. Yeah. Dumb shit. So you go to court for the ticket. But it's so much tent, deeper. T- the the t- uh, uh, ticket, they going to throw it right they away. Throw it so out. wait, did y'all see the video of the two young boys fighting at the mall um, in Jersey? That was right in Jersey. No, what happened? <laughs> okay, so you got one black boy. Mm-hmm. He's like an eighth grader, or whatever. He got one white boy. Mm-hmm. From to my knowledge and what I seen, it looks like it looks like the white guy was bullying the little black boy. And he was like, "Yo, like we can go outside if you want to fight or whatever." But you know, like you feel me, I'm an eighth grader. Like, why you want to fight me? Right, man. It should escalate. Basically, it end up white boy on top of the black boy. Cops come running over. They ripped the white boy off of him and put the cuffs on the black little boy. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. What? Yeah. That shit was... Yeah, see, that be the shit we go through, bro. bro. Sad. And then they they literally, like, the white boy sitting on the couch, but you literally just pulled the white guy off of him. Yeah. Why is he not the first first person to go in cuffs? Exactly. Y'all throw him off, leave him free. No cuffs going on him. It's two officers. Right. And y'all both go one one knee on neck, Mm. other putting the cuffs on, onto Mm. the black boy that's sitting there quiet. Mm. White boy, like... That's what they do. That's really, and that's but like, so so that brings us to is this shit, is this unconsciously or is this conscious racial discrimination? Like, what's really happening right now? Are y'all sub? Are y'all are y'all unconsciously doing this shit? Like, are you running up on a black little kid and y'all scared for y'all lives? So y'all feel like y'all need to put him in cups first? I don't think they scared though. See, I think that's an excuse. So you're yeah, consciously a, yeah. doing this. Yeah. So this I is think, a conscious think, thing. This I is oh, a lot of times that Billy's whole... fine, Jarek is not. Yeah, no, nah, like <laughs> which one is it? They make the choice. You you want to fuck with the. I black think it's dude. unconscious, bro. I nah, think part I mean, of the shit is unconscious. Naturally, right? No, not the older white guys and these other like racists and stuff that feel the pull young minority black men over and just pick with us. No, they know what y'all y'all know what y'all doing. I'm talking about in the, in the spread of the moment. In the spread of the moment. Spread of the moment. Why do you pull the white? Why is happening the right then and up? there? You threw the white little boy to the side and said, "Let me put the cuffs on the this black little boy." It. Are you scared? That's, no, that's, that's, the, that's their mindset. That's their mindset. I think they fucking mindset, scared, bro. No, 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 no. I think they are mindset, afraid bro, of the I, black I man. Think, the I think they mindset the is problem. fucking scared, bro. The yeah. nigga started it. Yeah. Yeah. Started I'm locking from the this nigga up. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely it. 50% of the shit. Ain't no way this little Billy started that shit. This little fucking Jamal, I hate when y'all come in our mall. If we get Jamal in cuffs first, we can take care of the situation. That's what I think they Bro, they don't care about- It's a part of it. It's not about taking care of the situation, bro. It's about the mean in the black man. It's about- me making you feel like an animal. It's about me taking away your rights. It's about me being able to treat you how I want to treat you. That's how racist. Like, that's, that's the majority like, that's, that's of what white privilege always was. Yes, is exactly. showing black people that we are better. But than what about you. the new, like the new cops? You think that they bring it on that same strength of like that's where the energy comes? So from? you got to understand. Or, one, I feel like they scared because if thing, a cop pull you over and he's asking for license registration, but he grabbing on his gun. I some of them, you some are, of them, you're some of them are scared, right? But then the, some of them can't wait to just fuck you up because of, they yeah, just need it right away. For sure. And then you got some of them they that just boys. come up and they just cool. Those are the ones that are straight, the ones that don't come up with no animosity. Yeah. And now if you come and up with animosity, whether you scared 
or you trying to be a bully, either way it go, it's a bad you judging joke. me. You get what I'm saying? Whether you're scared of me or you can't wait to fuck me up, no matter how it go, your you're whole point was, reason. I hate this fucking nigga. Either you, you think I'm an issue or you just want to bully me. Mm-hmm. One way or another, though, you, you you grinding me up in your mind already. Right, right. You know what I mean? You're not coming over just because, listen, you tell light out, bro. I'm... I don't want like, you getting yeah, no accident. Like straighten this out. They for never me. care. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't really give a they fuck. Don't really like, give a it fuck. ain't really about everything. That. Go back to like we were just saying. Like where's the way everything is about money. So you going to equate this pullover to a ticket, which mm-hmm. is going to cost me money. Okay, cool. Yeah. And they, then you and then then I your have life. to also deal with the fact that you might have, you know, some type of feelings towards the fact that I'm a black male in America. Right. You know what I'm saying so now you now you're gonna bring that side out. So now I got to deal with the fact that you're gonna cost me money. And yeah. then you might just cost me my life. In time. Right. Time. All that shit. Time. Shit. Quick. <laughs> I mean, and that's the thing. Quick. I feel like, I feel like they, need them to, feel they need to come up with rules where as though you can't be policed by people that don't live in your neighborhood. You no, know, that's that's already a rule. That was bro. always been How, something. Bro? No, but they Who always been. These they, cops, they book, no, no, they don't live in the neighborhood. No, 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 no. They don't. They don't. Oh, no, oh, they oh. They book them to make sure they don't. Like the people that they put in your district. Oh, right. They're supposed but, to but not you, work in you there cannot, just in case. You cannot. So uh, if you, if you, if, if, or say we, well, I don't know the districts. And, right. So say it's a district, any number. is a third and it's a fourth district. Right. And you were, and you do something in the third district, a fourth district cop can't police you. They can't like, so say if I'm doing something, I get, matter of fact, they can't even pull you over in another district. But they do that. They do, but they're yeah, not. But they're not. To. They're not legally so bound to do it. But, but they, they try. They, do that shit. they try sometimes. But the, but I'm saying, period. Like you shouldn't be allowed to carry a badge and police West Philly if you don't grow up in Philadelphia. Like you know what I mean. And I'm not talking about living the counties. Like if I feel like a lot of these cops probably right, from so, Roxborough. So here we go and Cedarbrook and shit. So let me bring but up. But you're not allowed like, to police your own neighborhood. So say that's if what I was about up, to say. That's the yeah. weird shit though. Y'all made that for what? Because, because you know what? The inner city, if if the inner city is not allowed to police the inner city, then who the fuck is policing the inner city? The outer city. Who's the outer city? The white motherfuckers. Because right. niggas don't live in the outskirts. Now they do. But before that, it's mostly but white that's, motherfuckers. That's, that's the way it's been. Who teaching the inner city? And who should be? Right. But that's why I'm saying it's all bad. They got to switch it up. Because mm-hmm. you got like, if your neighbor is Bro, policing the neighborhood, here's, here's he the don't want to shoot you. But look. He know you. He might, you listen, know what I mean? But, but that's the thing. So that's too, that, that's too comfortable for them. That's a comfortable environment for them. They want it to be uncomfortable for us. They want shit to be where as though you know who's in control. Don't right. you try that shit around here. Your neighbor can't come save you. So and the neighbor, the, and, and, your, the and, and what you're saying is that the, your neighbor might be the cop. He yeah. might be the person. He's going to come over with love and with care. He's going to want to make sure that y'all family is everything's that's okay. The, the rest of these cops that's coming, they come in guns blazing first and shoot first, Don't ask questions shit. last. Yeah. So you're dealing with that. Mm-hmm. But this should be crazy, bro. Like, ain't, I mean, either way it go. Yeah. I think that's a bad job, man. But it's just, it's systematically set up that way, to be that way. Kanye had said something, uh, I guess on his speech. He did a speech or something. He said something like, they're trying to remind me of what would happen to me. You know, that like they're spending all month reminding me what would happen for me saying what I'm saying. It was something like that. Pretty much they show Black History Month a lot of slave movies. Mm-hmm. Here by everybody that was lynched. You got Emmett Till shit. And as much as people be calling it celebrating black history and shit mm-hmm. like that, it's a black reminder of your place, if mm-hmm. you ask me, I, I get what I'm saying. Though. Like that's I why I believe, like a lot of motherfuckers be thinking Kanye is tripping and he be saying the wildest shit. Like he that's why he said this is Black Black Future Month and shit mm-hmm. like that because that's what it should be. It should be something that's working towards changing the way shit was because I feel like every time they show a slave movie, they shouldn't even allow that shit in schools. Like where they had the conversation about taking history out of the schools fuck yeah take it out because a lot of the times a lot of the history they teaching is Y'all negative shit yeah. well i mean how frederick Douglass got shipped in the box and shit like that yeah, they don't that's really cool for us then teach it to just the black kids don't show billy and them that shit because now billy in the lunchroom I'm talking about you fucking slave i'm gonna fuck you up billy now we the aggressors <laughs> you get what i'm saying and that's what they do though they put all this shit in your head to make you hate motherfuckers and ha- make you mm-hmm. have hatred mm-hmm. and make other motherfuckers have hatred towards you. Oh, but but bro. I can't date that black guy. His, his grandpa probably was a slave. Like this is the shit that little but, kids are think with but, that but, information. But once again, it's no different than them turning, like you said, Vlad. Right? 
You know, a lot of people don't fuck with Vlad like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Because what he do is he mix, he stir up, he might get you on there, you know, you beefing with me, you want to hear your side of the story. Get motherfuckers it's indicted. Culture, it's, yeah, you, you, just, you just got the culture going against the culture, for real, mm -hmm. for real. And that's what the record labels do. But that, they going to do that to us regardless, bro. I don't know if we can stop this shit, bro. Now, I feel like in over time, everything is getting better. You just got to take out some shit. Better. I feel like if, like, kids, right? I took my daughter to my client crib and shit. White old dude. But he cool, though. He got, like, Black Lives Matter poster shit. And he, like, 80. So, remind you, everybody who old. It's different. Well, yeah, everybody was in the old white races. Like, you had some people that understood that the mm -hmm. shit that them other white people was doing was fucked up. So, she come over there. She she calling Pop-Pop. She think that's a grandpop. Mm -hmm. She don't know color. She don't know, like, right. this white man right. can't be related to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But at what point do you start learning white and black and the difference? I think when, when do that happen? You. Um, it's in school when they start teaching you that school. But black people I mean, a came lot of from Africa on ships. <laughs> like, I, 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 no, you get what I'm saying? Where that? do you think the white lady get to go back to Africa shit from? Who taught her that? Somebody had to tell you. The but fucking I, schools did. I, she in the so and we you, was already so in look, America. So, but to take it out would be a disgrace as well because now you're not giving your people the knowledge on the history. No, I mean, see, but no, no, no. You when you don't you give, give people that, the knowledge see, on the history, it, it starts to repeat itself. But so sometimes that's some you gotta shit they know. made up. The biggest they thing, so? the, the, the biggest, like, well, we could, we could educate our own realistically. Right. If yeah. we sitting up here having this conversation, that means we can have these same talks with our kids. And I think that's more important because even though they might be educated in the school system, the things that they really going to need is going to come from us for real, for real. Right. So, I mean, they going to be what we tell them. And if you don't have that, if you don't take the time out of the day to talk to your kids, then, I mean, they're going to be a little bit behind right. in terms of knowledge for real, mm -hmm. for real. That, that take us back to the, the influence of social media and shit. We are teaching our, right. our kids now. Because now they see other black people who talk that power shit. Mm -hmm. They don't got to feel like they got to be like the white dude to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or they got to be a ball player. Like, it take away a lot of things. It opened up the doors, a lot of different ways of how you can go about life and still be successful. They don't even feel the need to go to college anymore because of social media. Right. And my son, he is the same way. Like, with this yeah. whole, like, like, you know. But can you blame him? I'm not you mad. You definitely can't. I, I, my thing is, Bro, I tell them, if you don't want to go to school, that's find cool. Find something that you're great but at. But start grinding and now. That you love, start yeah, figuring it and out start, now. Yeah. And, and, but see, that's the thing I be trying to tell young kids. Like, yo, you 13 years old, you can start now. Right. You don't have to wait till you. You can start everything you want to do now for real. And, and it look better coming from a little, a little young boy, young but girl. But back to that yay shit. He said he was, he, was, he was trying to produce at the age of seven. Are you seven years old trying to produce somebody else's music? Right. Like, bro, like, you got to get them in there young. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's. To become, like, you know. That's how you become a master the genius, in your craft. 10,000 really, hours right. already in. You jump, know every little there, thing you, about it. Why you Come sucking on. in so much? Like, that, you, you know it, what I mean? It's hard for you to feel. If I, if I had all the knowledge I had now, like, let me have had this back. Like, you know what I mean? Because oh, no, yeah. we didn't have, yeah, like, yeah, even when be, we got MySpace. different. MySpace was different. only where you had the people around you. You didn't have the, like. See the way everything. you could explore page, the way you could just see, I clicking could just, anything. I now I could see the Swiss mountains. As soon as I log on, like I wasn't even searching it, but it popped up a, a picture of the islands. Yeah. Now I want to go to the islands. Yeah. MySpace back in the day was who you follow. Yeah. That's even just, Facebook, it was like only dedicated to who you follow, so it didn't open up your 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 your, your thoughts. Like it didn't open up so your crazy, mind at all. Because traveling, right? I used to look at the Pro Bowl. It used to be in Hawaii. And I used to see the water and all that. I'm like, damn, I want to go to Hawaii. I'm talking about I was a kid, bro. Mm -hmm. Every year the Pro Bowl was in Hawaii. And I was like, I want to go to Hawaii. But now with social media, I see different resorts yeah. and stuff like that. So, so I'm like, yeah, like, Anytime. I want to go there. Right. Right. I, mean, I don't have to be the Pro crazy. Bowl no more. <laughs> right, 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 right. But that gave me, I was motivated by, damn, that's, that's the Pro Bowl. Bro, that water look all that. The place so, to go was Miami yeah. forever. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. why is that though? Because all we had was fucking Lil Wayne and fucking yeah. Birdman yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Rick Ross. Yeah. Yeah. That and the was the only dealers. place we seen beaches. Yeah, Pablo Escobar. That just showed you that you was a, you was a victim Scarface. of the circumstance. Scarface was shot. My, my first time going to Miami, I seen cars like I seen aluminum like twenty. This one used to have a big rims. I seen aluminum on twenty six inch rims, bro. I'm like, yo, I don't see stuff. This this joint like a Mack truck. I don't see this. I don't see this back in Philly. Yeah, yeah. no, yo, yeah, that's that how it was. Our first time going down there, like the further we got down south, that shit was like, 
Yeah, it's different. Colorful ass cars. Mm-hmm. That was like you, before you get to Miami. It was then like you got candy to Miami, paint. Yeah, you had yeah. Fucking I, I lived in Miami yeah. for yeah. like and five the, years. So yeah, the yeah. Ferraris and shit start yeah. speeding by. Shout out now to Carroll like, City. Yeah. I gotta get this money. Flomo, yeah. Florida Memorial University. Barry I went University. down there uh, Memorial Day weekend years ago. I seen man. I went down there. I seen everybody down there. I was like eighteen. Mm-hmm. That shit opened your eyes up though For what? sure bro Right Just what? living down there I got a whole different perspective on life But that's And that's what I'm saying That's the same way with the phones though. So it's like When you start seeing these things It changed your whole mentality So now you got the access To see so fucking yeah. much And imagine being a kid now Seeing so much It shit you changes And this is the way we was it, raised It's so crazy yeah. because Like a lot of things are on YouTube where um, you could get, you got access to, like you said, Kanye is doing the documentary. So you can see, I just wish some of the things that, um, like even um, old games, if we still had access to that now, it'll, right. it'll really bring back some memories because we didn't have the, 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 the YouTube or the cell phones to record like that. Right. But I just wish it was available so we could really go back and look at those times. Like, it'd be crazy. Like when... AI and them was playing all the footage from that would be crazy right now. Right. Definitely. But how I'm looking at it now is that now that we know what we what we dealing with and the fact that we didn't have it, mm-hmm. you got to make sure you're implementing that with your children. Make sure. Yeah, and you got to keep that stuff. Oh, yeah. No, see, and that's my thing, too. Like, I got rules and regulations. Like, I don't know how other people do with their kids when it comes to Instagram and shit. Like, I think it I might tell be my one kids, on that like, camera. It might be what? Like one battery on there. All right. So you know. I don't even allow to, them to have Instagrams and TikToks unless you're trying to promote some type of business. Mm-hmm. So my son, he do music and all that shit. So, so you get if it for you that. try to do that, that's cool. smart though. But you're not gonna be on there just, just lollygagging and just bull- yeah, yeah I'm cool. Yeah. I'm See, cool but like that's that. a smart way to go about it. And I think we need to really bring that to the forefront. Whereas though, if we are gonna have our children or whatever on these sites. It need to be for a real true reason. Right. So that they can utilize and still build off of these platforms and make the money because you got kids, little kids, yeah. making millions of but dollars yeah. off of fucking uh, yeah. reviewing a toy. Yeah. And that's the thing too. So it comes down to like when it comes to like the way we was brought up and now you got these kids who already got these Instagrams and all the kids got phones now because it's like shit crazy out in the world. So you got to send your sixth grader, your fifth grader out with a cell phone. So now they all got so access. Tracked. So now it was like, Hell you yeah. got to make sure they stay away from that dark shit. You got to oh, keep yeah. them on the path. Yeah. Try to keep that John on some entrepreneurial shit. Don't be on there trying to look at all the gangsters or all the holes and all it, that. Not only that, because they, they a click away from porn. Yeah, it's too close. It, you got everything really in the, the, Everything in the palm of your hand. Yeah. But it's, you could put restriction on it, of course, and probably be able to like monitor the screens or whatever. That shit hard. Yeah, it ain't gonna be as easy. Yeah, and especially if they get their time. And you know, these kids now they super advanced, so they smart as hell. Mm-hmm. They gonna find their ways, and sometimes you just gotta let it be what it's gonna be. But on the same time, be able to tell them like, "Look, this is what you here for." Right. Like you feel me? Had that focus point there because I feel like when we came into the shit, we just came into it. Like, oh, social media. Okay, cool. He's the first ones walking right. into it, so yeah. we like the dummy dolls. Yeah, and now we, we all the test dummies, yeah, and now, now we finally now, getting it. Now we understand. Now we it. understanding it and seeing the crafts between it, and how we could use it to make some. You know, I think our generation probably is more hands on when it come to kind of guiding the kids a little bit because we do got I this feel like at the, the same time too. The motherfucking so like, thirteen, fourteen year olds, the fifteen, year, they they hate the ones. Yeah, <laughs> they, they the goats. Really live. <laughs> they the go hell do, yeah, yeah, bro. Do, they too advanced. Do y'all believe? Super advanced. Do y'all believe it's gonna be? Another platform like Instagram that's going to come up soon. Like, I'm talking about in that's terms of it? being effective, Always. like Instagram. It, like, I know something that, like something that'll become your new main thing versus right. Instagram. Right. Right. I feel like it's possible because it was Facebook. Yeah. Then the Instagram so came. The world, the world gonna keep moving around. I don't know but when how, this is gonna happen? How do you, how because do you do they're it? gonna implement it. Like, with you know this, what the problem is the metaverse shit, right? The what? metaverse shit might be mixed in with the social media shit some way somehow. And they might create the two worlds in one. The only way they're going to be able to do it is if they put contacts that you could put in your eye and see shit without having to use your phone. Like, imagine VR right in your eyes. Now, if, yeah. if a company beats Instagram to shit like that, that's the only way Instagram is no longer the leading app in your phone. Bro, if I'm able to move around freely and be able to speak to the people that's on the other side of the world... That I know personally. Right. Right in the same room like how we doing right now. Right. On the metaverse type scene. 
Come on, bro. Like that. That's, that's where Instagram is, is going. Instagram, that's the next world. But that's the problem. Uh, that's what, so? the, but that's Hell what we're yeah. saying though. Instagram is still going to be the ones leading it. Yeah. Once, a, once a company become too big of a giant, they the company that everybody that they buy out. Right. They buy out that, everybody. So yeah. So yeah. So that's what Facebook. always be ahead. So if you, yeah. you create, oh, they're going to be the social runners, joint bro. Right. That might be coming. They up, are really well they advanced. Just buy you. Right. Right. They come in and give you a check. Right. 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 And if you and don't they, take this check, I shut you down. Right. Exactly. I'm gonna pile up on you. But they they going to be the ones forefronting it though. Because exactly the the guy from from Facebook bought Instagram right. Yeah, yeah, Facebook, boy, Instagram. Yeah. That's why I say that meta shit at the bottom because they turning Facebook into meta, the metaverse. For real, I never yeah. looked at that. Yeah, that he's working on all that. Go to YouTube, the put in Mike, uh, Mark Facebook Zuckerberg in, uh, in the metaverse. He got his own shit that they, they about to they do gotta, Facebook. But they got to come up with something else. So I think it's definitely going to happen. But I don't know. We got we got wait and see, bro. It's about to get real. I know, hundred percent, bro. That's why we gotta that? catch on, like LeBron said. Don't you, listen. You don't, gotta be ready for it. Don't, <laughs> don't fall. Don't, don't fall behind. Don't, don't fall behind. Don't. Right now is the time to catch on to what's happening. Right. And we gotta be ahead of the game to change the course of our out, our own outcomes. Well, what we getting into this week, man? What y'all got coming up? So, you don't fall head, behind in this fucking metaverse. Hey, bro. Listen. Head down and we grinding. Head down, grinding. Head down and we grinding. We gonna keep grinding. We are gonna make something happen. We're going to stay positive, and, you know, we're going to feed our bodies healthy food. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anybody going to watch the All-Star um, weekend? I know the Stam Dunk Contest, um, all that stuff is over yeah, with. You, we was talking about that, man. I ain't watched the All-Star games. That used to be the highlight, though. Yo, yeah, didn't Watching it? Watching those dunks and shit. Bro, I used to buy the, the NBA 2Ks and shit just to do the Slam Dunk Contest and the three. I, I don't even think mm-hmm. that'd be on the game no more. I, I had an idea. Way. I think they it's should not do, even on 2K I think, where though you could I, do the slam dunk contest. I think to get it popping, they should let the like shit. some of them like YouTubers like just go ahead and participate and be them versus the NBA players. Bro. Like more see, so you like shouldn't have said it on here. You better make sure they give you a check because that's yeah. what they're gonna start yeah, doing. Bro, that's what they get. Bro, the boxing shit, I've been saying. Just like that, that just like that. that I think that I think, letting anybody box shit. Every think, time rappers would beef. I was like, yo, they should put them niggas in the ring yeah. and let them box, bro. They'll get a check no, for that But shit. remember, remember years ago, they used to do the celebrity drum where there was cartoons and they was fighting. So yeah, you had, yeah, yeah. so yeah, something like that. But no, I really think it should be like some dudes off YouTube that's crazy dunkers. Pit them against the NBA players and let them challenge let it them out. Let them do it, yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. That's what the know. world coming into, man. Whereas though, it's not, we you're not even separated. Everything. Yeah, we're not. You're not yeah, separated by what you in. do. Yeah. You could be a football especially, player and go boxing by. Especially if you got the following. Like, if you build your shit up. That's all it's about. That's it. At this point. You put yourself on the my platform. that's whole thing. If you could create a following, period, that's a brand. That's it. Yeah. If you could create people that's, that's willing to buy whatever you put out, gold, they bro. willing that's to let bricks. you do whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. And it's like a no-brainer for them. If you got somebody that's a follow, that has a strong following, they're going to bring them on because it's going to generate more people for them. Don't nobody really watch the uh, dunk contest no, no more. No, the crazy part, they yo, you'd be surprised how slow behind them folks be. That's the reason why somebody like Jay Z got come on and be the the, yeah. the producer for the the entertainment. Cool. At the they be behind. They don't be knowing that these are the things that you yo. A lot of shit be that I be thinking of. It be two three years later that they finally catching up on because yeah. they live in a box. They so used look, to just doing the so same what about shit. the boxes that we was in? Because it was a time where as though they was coming at Jay talking about, oh, you a sellout for joining the NFL during a time when, you know, we got kneeling and shit going on and you joining the NFL to do uh, no, halftime and, shows. And I, I don't think I that's already was, really us bro. being in the box. It does help him doing it, but at the same time, Jay is known to do things that might like you know what I mean. It was a good time. It was a good bargaining chip. All right, y'all need black votes. I'ma come in. Yeah. Even he, though he, I'm, did, he was crossing the picket he, line, yeah, exactly. if we all right now we at strike, you cross the picket yeah. line. No so matter how strike, it go, and then you go you cross, cross it. the picket but line. But then a year or two later, now y'all all celebrating it's the best thing, in. and but, that's why motherfuckers got shut up and let people work. See, because yeah. I always believed in Jay when he was doing that move. I'm like, bro, this is what we need. We need to be in these rooms. That's why we need to be right. controlling the it's content. A gift, it's a gift and a curse because yeah. the plan is when you when you have a strike is to shut shit down. And when somebody calls the picket line, they restart the workforce. So that means that the people in charge really didn't learn a lesson. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They did something to make the workers happy and come back to work again. But the fact is you really wanted to shut that shit down. You really wanted to break down the structure of how this shit is built and rebuild it. That's what reform is. Listen, Jay is a genius. That's one. For two, 
You can't shut down the NFL, bro. It's too big. Like you can't. It's you, made you, up of niggas, bro. I understand niggas that. Is everything. So if niggas stop playing, that was the whole point. So you had niggas so nilla and they wasn't playing, right? So the you, only reason they played because they let Jay through. Now imagine if nobody played, who would be playing? Who all the Caucasians? And how would their families would get fat? If you got a couple million, bro, come back to the hood. Put your shit in some stock, <laughs> bro. That's why they get go your broke. Ramen noodle up. Well, that's why well, athletes go broke. See, that's why they for a year or two. Yeah, and we gonna change the world. And that's all the same that, thing bro. with the gels, though. They said, no, look, if no. the gels don't eat, that it has shut the whole gel system down because they need the money from the food. Right. So that whole production system of the, of, of feeding a cellmate food, that's why they make you go to the lunchroom, make you get your tray, whether oh, right, you eat right. it or that's, not. That's the same. It's because of the simple fact that this is how we, this is how this gel go around. Make this that how money. This shit, this yeah. shit is how it circulates. If you're not eating, we literally shut down as a business because we're not grossing an income. Right. So you could literally shut an entire fucking but that's, precinct down. And that's because what I'm saying. So anything that you same think thing of in any system, basketball, football, if anybody, bro, I'll be the saying black that dollar, when it come to the period, trillion dollars in black spending, when it come to the minimum wage and people like you got these billion dollar companies, McDonald's that still is paying niggas like seven dollars and it's shit. It's hard like to that. get everybody together though. If you though. get everybody to walk away, everybody don't do it. Listen, if you got everybody to walk away, stop paying their bills. See, then the problem is you got some niggas that think they above the issue. Now you got people that's in the military, right? They niggas, but yet they, they think they work for the government. Yeah. So when you had the the uh riots and all that shit and they come down, if those niggas that they send down be like, man, fuck that, I'm standing with my people, who's gonna control it? Cause no now you, they got no military, you got no streets. Now we run everything. They they break you up into these groups you get a to shot make at. you feel as though you're different than other people. <laughs> like you get what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> I understand that, and I really think that could happen with certain things. But when you talk about the NBA and NFL, you know how much money James Harden got, bro? But this, this half is what a billion I'm dollars. You I got it. You still you, gotta. Who's gonna stop playing balling, basketball? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's, they know the, that's that the problem, and that's right. what that's, right. The issue. Right. that's the actual issue. Right. That's what they bank on. They but banked on if that. something gets big enough, like that, nigga getting his his neck stood on for ten minutes, it overrides your whole. You know what? You become a Colin Kaepernick where fuck the next dollar. I used to not have shit. I can go back to not have shit if it yeah. mean that my people won't get treated like shit Bro. no more. Some people and could you think do like that. Do something about that. Not all. Some not, people could not think the like majority. That. You, you don't even need. You just need fifty percent. Can you? They get can't 50%? even play ball no more. Can you get that? Bro, if you get niggas stop going to the game, you can't get you, niggas to fact, stop fuck buying fuck McDonald's. That, right? This is the thing right now. If you get fuck if the, all right, you want to keep playing football. You want to keep playing football. Now, everybody who in the stands that don't make money off of it just don't come to games because every game make like a billion dollars and no money being made and they just put out all this money to throw this game. Bro, they they do whatever you tell them to do. They'll do it because they need the people to spend the money. So it's like you know, the people got to right. choose or the other people got to choose. But those people are more influential. So all they get the other people to do all it. All right, so I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, right? So let's just say we got to... We gonna shut down all all basketball games, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we gonna say it's it's it's, it's, it's the African Americans. We're not going to the basketball games. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be able to replace you with sponsorships. So they might have um, the owner of Best Buy just buy all those tickets. So they replacing those seats again. So they're not losing. They are not bro, gonna lose, bro. It's, it's not, they too big of a it's too big have, of a company. They have their ways, but please understand that the reason they be settling the way they be settling. It's because they understand that it's a chance. But the thing is, when they put out that little bone, too many niggas take the nibble. They bite at it. You get what I'm saying? So when the Colin Kaepernick shit happened, Jay-Z took the bite. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nobody sat out long enough. Somebody, they'll, they'll always find somebody that's willing to end the riot. If niggas stop that. taking I, that, I mean that is true. That's when shit gonna go left. That's when they gonna have to realize, like, oh, uh, we can't do it. We gotta stop, because niggas run everything. Yeah, we do. Hip hop culture, black people run the everything. Culture, we sure. set the trends. The coolest fucking shows come from us. Why you think Tyler Perry a billionaire? I don't even know that many other billionaire producers that's white. Like Steven Spielberg, know, is yeah. he a billionaire? Yeah. I don't know. Probably. Right, like, but he made all these movies. I don't know. I doubt him a billionaire, bro. Mm -hmm. I doubt he got the same much money Tyler Perry do. But see, Jay his, his audience is still a minority audience. 
Jay about that paper. He don't care what you guys say about him. So that's, that's the why thing, he did it. right? See, then that's the thing that niggas gotta understand that Jay, as much as he is yeah. for black people and the advancement of black people, but he is Jay first, right? You know what I mean? And that's 100%. cool. That's cool because you all you definitely really gotta be learn to be selfish. Yeah, you gotta learn to we be selfish. About that. So, so where like, you want really to be at? Take care of you up. and yours, right? Yeah, because ain't nobody else gonna help you eat. Sometimes, like you gotta do what you gotta do. But I'm saying that. If niggas ever want shit to change, we all got to make a conscious decision to just together. suffer together. Yeah. And say fuck everything and suffer together. Because it ain't, and the, and the problem is, it's not going to last long. At all. If you really shut shit down, they're going to do whatever you ask them to do real fast. We could have been got. <laughs> like, what else they going to do? Reparations. They're going to have to kill everybody. I just know it ain't gonna happen with basketball, football. That's niggas' dreams to go to the NBA and NFL. Yeah, so. but that's the reason why they make it their dreams. Exactly, though. exactly, and they, they know that it's the carrot. Yeah, it's the carrot for a lot of people. Yeah, but once you once they if a nigga taking too much, at some point it's too much, bro. Yeah. At some point it's not worth it, and that's when should have changed. But you know, till then, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But yeah, I mean, we we running a little long. It's an hour. Shit was getting deep on lunch break. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Shit getting deep over yeah. here. But, um, yeah, I mean, make sure you tune in next week. I'm I sure we got some more deep shit for that ass. You know what I mean? No homo. You know what I mean? Yo, I think that's the second time I was supposed to say pause to you, bro. <laughs> it's a Real wild rat. Wild. Like, you said something else. I think it's might have been great how low he take his cut. Bro, I just, I just don't be giving a fuck. <laughs> it was I was a couple talking, times, and I ain't want to just pause different. and just stop you, but... Couple different times, bro. <laughs> We're not letting that happen on the next show. I'm telling you. Now lunch break. Now lunch no, break. Man. I'm going to just pause you. Pause, bro. Nah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely on the next episode of Lunch Break, we here. Yeah, you already yeah. know. Check in, baby. Lunch break, and we out here. All right. 100. Lunch break!